Good morning. So, instead of doing my usual Diablo playthrough, because I'm still not certain what I'm going to do with that, this past weekend was Ludum Dare 45. I participated, made a game. It's not good. I did not submit to the competition. But I, that gave me the inspiration, let's play through and rate some games for the Ludum Dare competition. I've set the filter to danger, and we're going to go through, we're going to play a row. So we're going to play all four of these games. And then I'm going to uh, redo the filter, see what needs played to get the ratings it needs to be part of the competition. So first we have Nothing by Bocadillo. This is a game that as literally as I could make it starts with... Oh yeah, the theme was Start With Nothing. So, this game starts with nothing. It's a blank Unity project. Don't hit Spacebar. So, not Spacebar, but hit a bunch of other things. So, we're going to just go down the line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nothing. Real fun so far. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, that's A. It gives me resources. So this is an incremental game. A, B, C? No. Now C. No. So by resource names. Atoms, bytes, and pixels. So P for pixels. We're going to buy a background. It's black. <clears throat> An I for integers. So you ha I, I hit the I before. So I had to hit, I had to unlock that resource to do it. We need atoms and pixels for screen shake. Because I'm sure that'll be good. Oh, man, this is, ugh. I don't know about this. Atoms, bytes, and pixels. So I'm trying to hit all three of them at once. And you can see all three numbers going up. So by time. Ooh. Okay, now we're at the idle stage. I'm not a big fan of the screen shake. Shouldn't have bought it. I don't know, maybe I needed to buy it to get time. Let's okay, I don't need any. We can just spend all of my atoms on that. Because I'm looking for pixels, integers, and waves. Oh, I got waves as a resource now. Which requires integers. So I don't want to go below 120 on my integers. Oops. Good job, Trist. And now we've got tuples. Which also uses integers. We can increase the integer rate. It does definitely stick with the theme for Starts With Nothing. But because this looks like it's going to take a while, I don't know how much time I should invest in it right now. We have by music, by graphics, by colors. Ooh, we can afford colors. Ah! <laughs> so we can set the colors of each part. But when a new one pops in, it still has the old one. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, the fact that he left the space bar cheat in kind of shows he didn't fully test it in time. But So I'm tempted to l just leave this up in the background for now. And we'll get back to it after we go through four games. So I'm going to pull this over here to my other window and we're going to grab the Ludum Dare window and we'll come back to this and we'll go to Hadron the, by Not234 you are a lone traveler in the deepest reaches of space your challenge is to become the wealthiest one of all to do this you'll need to collect resources and develop your ship however there are others doing the same can you survive let's see Okay, it's got some music. Some sound effects. Probably a little 
procedural generation going on here. What? So I'm looking for one with a low number of enemies. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna immediately try to zoom out. So, I've got to find one with no enemies, but orbitals. There's the orbital, let's go to it quickly. Uh, oh no, this is... stuff there. So we're going to try and cut this orbital off as it's spinning around. So small. The enemy's way over here though, so we'll, we should be okay. It's a tiny little line. That's what I've got. Oh, crud. I missed it. Oh, this could take a while. Starting with nothing. Yeah, you start with, with pretty much nothing. It certainly feels like you start with nothing. Because you can't freaking do anything. I'm going to get hit by this. Let's turn around and see. Because it's going to catch up to me. What was that? I've pretty much just got to sit here with the laser hanging out waiting for the asteroid to come back around. This definitely is a is a game jam game. I don't think this is something that you can keep the start with nothing idea. So we're gonna sit here for a bit with my laser sticking out. Oh, you've got some, some noise. But to see anything, you gotta be way out here. Yeah, I think my big advice is have one star right in the middle of the map that is handcrafted to be an easy star. And we'll give this one more shot. And then I'm going to probably call it quits on this one because this is not great. I'm going to die immediately, aren't I? So he's got some complicated orbitals going on this. We're going to try and hang out. Ooh, this is a slow one. This is a very slow one. So we're going to try and get to it. And see if we can actually make something of it. I tried to get this one as it went by. Going as fast as I can, and it's still. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Right. I do have a weapon. So I can go shoot the enemy. But my mining laser doesn't seem to do very much. Oh. It, oh, there's a thruster too. I got a kill. Ten bucks. Let's take a look at the, the controls again before I leave. Movement, rotation, zoom, boost, shoot, mine. The mining didn't seem to work very well. Um, shooting is tricky, but I think that's how you're going to have to start off. So, um, starting with nothing isn't great for this style of game. Fun, I'm going to give it a, a two. Because this definitely seems like the sort of thing that if I did sit down with it for a long time and I mastered it, you could spend a lot of time having fun with. But it's got a really high barrier to entry. Innovation. As we've seen games like it. I'm actually talking myself down to a... Uh, let's go two and a half. Theme. I'll give it a, I'll give it a th three and a half or four. Because you don't start with nothing. But you definitely, definitely the things you do start with, they're not very much. It feels like nothing a lot of the time. So I'm going to go with four. Graphics. I think there's a bit of a, a definition problem here, actually, for graphics. Because graphically, this game is not that great. It's raw sprites. But I do like the aesthetic they've set up. It's a little bright. I'm going to treat this as a visual aesthetic. So I'm going to do three and a half. Audio. Eh. Like, it's not bad. You can't really hear anything about your ship until you're zoomed in really closely. Shooting is repetitive. And I don't know if there just was no feet, no mining response in the audio, or if I just wasn't mining correctly. I'm going to go with another two on that. Overall, I'm going to say two and a half. A very respectable start, um, but I don't think it stands out enough on its own. Okay, so before we go on a RoboFort, we're going to go back to nothing. And we're going to pull that over. Because this one is an idle game. So we're going to do some idle crap. We probably don't want to buy music. Let's buy graphics. Now everything's pretty. We bought sound effects. The thing is, I'm afraid if I buy music, I'm not going to be able to do anything else while this game is up. We're going to do it. And now there's a bar with a lot of other things. It's by tips, save often, and use version control. 
buy a loot box. So it's just exchanging 100 atoms for a random amount of some other resource. Can't always add more seasoning, but you, you can always add more seasoning, but you can't take it away. Animation. Which just adds this little guy. <laughs> Don't build a game primarily using Unity's UI. No, I've not enjoyed my time with that. Buy a cursor. So this is probably we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna we're gonna finish playing nothing with this. Disco mode. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, we can at least mu mute the music. TXT file. Um, that didn't seem to do anything. Achievements! Achievement unlocked. Purchased a thing. Okay, go away. And win the game. Now go play something else. Okay. So it's just, it's just a little idle game that has an end. Wait. Fun? It's an idle incremental game. Your mileage may vary. I did actually enjoy trying to figure out the buttons for things early on. So I'm going to give it a three and a half. Because I, I, I can dig the early stages of an incremental. Innovation? It's fairly standard as far as incremental games go. The big gimmick is that you start with a blank screen. It looks like somebody just started Unity uh, 2D and then built the project. They managed to turn starting with truly nothing and stick with the theme. So theme, I'm going to go full on five star. Innovation... Three, middle of the road. Humor. Okay. Yeah. Mood. Mood is an odd thing. I'm not entirely certain how to rate that. I might not rate it. Audio. Okay. The audio was fine. Music wasn't catchy, but it wasn't bad. The only concern I had with it was that because it's an incremental idle game. I didn't know if I wanted to leave it up. Graphics. They're suitable. They work. Audio. I'll go three and a half. Overall, I'm going to give this a four. This is a fun little idle game. You want to see what an incremental is like. Nothing is a great start. And I would give the advice to press the A button when you start. I'm going to go with a, I'm going to go with a full 4 on that. Mm -hmm.